Nearly 400 people who woke up on Florida's death row this morning, they may be getting a new sentencing hearing. In three separate rulings today, Florida's high court ruled that some, but maybe not all, death row inmates are now entitled to new sentences. As Mike Vasilinda tells us, the state has already been preparing to send some of those inmates back to the general population. The Florida Supreme Court drew a line in the sand, ruling in the case of Mark Mosley that inmates sentenced after the Ring v. Arizona case in 2002 are entitled at the very least to a new sentencing hearing. It used the case of Marcus Say, who was convicted of multiple murders in 1988, to say the Ring decision was not retroactive to cases decided before 2002. The court said that 45% of the inmates on death row, that's 172, two were all sentenced after Arizona v. Ring, and that means they're likely entitled to relief. Prior to the court's ruling, the Department of Corrections had been making plans to begin emptying death row if necessary. If we have to integrate them back into the general population, we're going to have to be very careful how we do it. The state remains without a valid sentencing scheme after last year's non-unanimous jury law was thrown out. Senate President Joe Negron told reporters earlier this week the state will wait for the legislative session to enact what he hopes is a requirement for unanimous juries. That actually strengthens the uh, efficacy of a jury verdict on appeal for it to be a unanimous verdict. The court's decisions are almost certain to be appealed on the grounds that it's not fair to execute one person and not another for the same crime based solely on what year the murders were committed. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, The Local Station.